Let us look at this example on uh, finding or evaluating the six trig functions for the angle alpha. Guys, we already have a right triangle here. The hypotenuse of this right triangle is six, and based on this as my reference angle, guys, this is going to be my side, which is going to be called as an adjacent side. So this is my adjacent A, which equals to three. And then this, which is the longest side of the right triangle, is my hypotenuse. And then obviously, guys, this side is going to be, which is directly opposite to that reference angle, is going to be my opposite. So to write the six trig functions, guys, we need to first figure out the length of the opposite side. And once we have all three sides of the triangle, then we are going to use the rules or formulas that we have learned to write the six trig functions or six trig ratios. Guys, uh, let us first use uh, find the value for the length of the opposite. To do that, we have to use the Pythagorean theorem. It's a right angle, right triangle, so where one can use the Pythagorean theorem on this particular triangle. So using the Pythagorean theorem, guys, it's going to be, we know the hypotenuse square is the uh, sum of the adjacent square plus the opposite square. So hypotenuse square would be 6 square equals to 3 square plus the opposite square. And in order to solve for the length of the opposite, I have to subtract this 3 square from both sides, so it will be 6 square minus 3 square. When we simplify this, 6 square is 36 minus 3 square is 9. Guys, it's going to be 27. To find the opposite, we have to take the, to find the length of the opposite, we have to take the square root of that 27. And guys, the square root of 27, I mean, you can do it your, any way you like, but I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to break this as uh, 9 times 3 and then I break it further as square root of 9 times square root of 3 you know we have to we try to break this number into product of 2 so that at least one of them is a perfect square and from here I can get the square root of 9 is a perfect square so which is 3 and then I have a radical 3 I have to leave it like that so guys I have the length of my opposite which is 3 radical 3 I have all the lengths for the three sides now let us go ahead and write the six trig ratios I will start with so guys, before I start writing the, any of the trig ratios, I will remind for just for reference, uh, for my own reference, I'm going to remind myself the, the short form, the technique to remember uh, the sine, cosine and the tangent. And once we have sine, cosine and tangent, we can uh, produce the or we can write the other three functions. So guys, we know this so cut to uh, the, the short form. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse and cosine so is adjacent over hypotenuse and finally tangent is opposite over adjacent. So first I will start with the sine of alpha. So sine of alpha is opposite over adjacent, opposite over hypotenuse. So what is my opposite is three radical three and then divided by the hypotenuse six. Guys, we got to simplify. We cannot leave it like this. Uh, so here three and six goes like one or one half. So radical three still stays. So it is just simply radical three over two. That would be my sine alpha. Now let us go and well guys once we have the sign let us write the in the reverse or sorry the uh, the reciprocal of the sign which is which we know is called the cosecant cosecant of alpha so cosecant of alpha is just going to be the reciprocal of the sign if it is radical 3 over 2 then the cosecant would be 2 over radical 3 but we know we cannot have a radical in the denominator so one has to do like one has to do an extra step which is rationalizing the denominator to uh, get it into the simpler form. So you have to multiply by radical 3 over 3 and then that becomes 2 radical 3 over 3. Guys, that is the simplified form. Guys, please do not leave it like this. One ha one cannot have, a we cannot have a radical in the denominator. So we have to multiply upstairs and downstairs or numerator and denominator by the square root of 3, which is basically rationalizing the denominator and then simplify. So that takes care of the two of the trig functions. Let us move on to the third one. Let us start finding the cosine of alpha. Cosine we know is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 3 and hypotenuse is 6. So if I simplify 3, 6, it's going to become 1 half. Now, if I have the cosine, it is just going to take me a second to write the secant because secant is just simply the uh, reciprocal of the cosine. So it's going to be just 2 over 1 or you can simply say 2. That is a cosine that is secant. And then fifth one is tangent. Guys, there's a few different ways of finding the tangent. One of the ways is to just use the form opposite or adjacent. So let us use that opposite or adjacent. It's easier to use that one. Opposite is uh, 3 radical 3. And adjacent is just 3. Guys, we can still simplify this. 3 is 3 is crosses out and it's just radical 3 over 1 or just simply radical 3. Then the last one that we can find here is the cotangent of alpha, which is the reciprocal of the tangent. So if the tangent is radical 3 over 1, then the cotangent obviously is going to be 1 over radical 3. Guys, uh, we have a radical in the denominator, so we have to simplify, which means we have to rationalize the denominator. Again, I'm going to multiply. Uh, upstairs and downstairs by radical 3 and when I simplify I get radical 3 over 
radical 3 times radical 3 is just simply 3. So guys, these are the 6 trig functions for this particular triangle. Now, some things that we have to be like, we have to really focus on and be careful with. First of all, guys, again, here we have this alpha as our reference angle, not this one, right? So we are going to label this side and this side based on what the reference angle is. So since my reference angle is right here, my opposite is this side right here, and this is my adjacent. Hypotenuse is never going to change. It's always going to be that longest side of any of a right triangle, okay? Based on, based on finding the, or identifying the adjacent and opposite, and we have the hypotenuse, then guys, I, in this case, the opposite was missing, so we found that first, and then we recall the, the short form, or like the, uh, one of the ways to remembering the sine, cosine, and tangent. We wrote it out for our references, and then we were able to write all the six trig functions. Guys, it's not too difficult. We just have to practice some examples, and we'll get good at it, okay? Guys, I will see you next time with another example. Till then,